Well, good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is your cruise director, Paul Baia. Welcome to another fun session of trivia. We hope you're enjoying a fun fall season of our trivias each and every week with the great cruise directors here with Oceana, located around the world. Well, speaking of around the world, that is the theme for this afternoon's trivia. It is all things geography, all things global. So while we're waiting to get back out to sea with Oceana Cruises, we're going to take you around the world for a fun trivia here this afternoon. Now for all my trivias, question number seven is always going to be a multiple choice question. Look forward to that. And also for question number 10, that is the whopping five point bonus question. So for today's trivia, believe it or not, you can have up to a maximum 15 points for today's trivia. So I'm going to ask the question, I'll repeat the question, and then we're going to give you 15 seconds to figure out your answer. Let's see how well we do as we go around the world for Trivia with Paul. Enjoy. All right, here we go. Question number one. Just across from Playa del Carmen, you can see the biggest island in Mexico. What is it? Once again, just across from Playa del Carmen, you can see the biggest island in Mexico. What is it? All right, once again, question number one, we asked you just across from Playa del Carmen, you can see the biggest island in Mexico. What is it? Give yourself a point if you wrote one of my favorite cruise destinations, of Cozumel, Mexico. That is right, Cozumel. Okay, as we continue on, this is a two-point question for question number two. And I think you all might do quite well with this one. I'm asking you what two popular tourist cities in Croatia are UN World Heritage Sites? Once again, what two popular tourist cities in Croatia are UN World Heritage Sites? Question number two is a two point question, one point for each correct answer. We asked you, what two popular tourist cities in Croatia are UN World Heritage Sites? And I'm sure some of you may have been to both of these popular cities. We are looking forward, give yourself a point if you guessed Dubrovnik and also Split. That is right, one point for each correct answer. Dubrovnik and Split, well done. All right, here we go. Question number three as we go around the world. I'm asking you, in which ocean are the Azores? In which ocean are the Azores? Good luck. Question number three, we asked you in which ocean are the Azores? The correct answer, give yourself a point if you wrote the Atlantic. That is right, a popular destination there for those transatlantic crossings, quite picturesque, love the Azores. All right, question number four, this is almost like a gimme question, you don't even have to think about it. Usually many people figure out this answer before I even finish the question. That's how confident I am you're gonna go, go well with this one. Question number four, in which city are the Spanish steps. Yes, might be an easy one. In which city are the Spanish steps? All right, question number four. I asked you, in which city are the Spanish steps? The correct answer is, of course, Roma. Rome, correct. All right, here we go. Question number five. I ask you, in which West Coast U.S. city is martial arts movie star Bruce Lee buried? Interesting question. In which West Coast, West Coast U.S. city is martial arts movie star 
Bruce Lee. There. All right, question number five. Around the world, I'm asking you in which West Coast U.S. city is martial arts movie star Bruce Lee buried? The correct answer is Seattle, Washington. That is right, Bruce Lee in Seattle, Washington. All right, as we continue around the world, we are going back over to Europe, asking you, what is the capital of the country of Estonia? What is the capital of the country of Estonia? Good luck. Okay, question number six. We asked, what is the capital of the country of Estonia? Some of you may have been there as well. It is none other than Tallinn. That is right, Tallinn, Estonia, the capital of Estonia. Okay, question number seven. With all my trivia, it is always multiple choice. So I'm gonna give you a question and three possible choices of answers. One of the answers I've given you is correct, the other two are not. We'll see how well you do. We're going back to England, staying in England. This is right now in Europe. What city in England is located the furthest north on a map? Again, what city in England is located furthest north on a map? Your choices are, is it Manchester, Liverpool, or London? Once again, which city in England is located furthest north on a map? Is it Manchester, Liverpool, or London. Good luck. Okay, question number seven, always a multiple choice with me. We asked, what city in England is located furthest north on a map? The choices were Manchester, Liverpool, or London. If you guessed or knew, Manchester, give yourself a point. That is right, just slightly above those other six. Okay, we continue on. Question number eight, I'm asking, what was the venue of the 1976 Summer Olympic Games? Again, what was the venue of the 1976 Summer Olympic Games? Good luck. Right, question number eight, we asked, what was the venue of the 1976 Summer Olympic Games? The correct answer is Montreal, Canada. That is right, question number eight. All right, two more questions to go. This is a fun one here. Interesting fact about it as I ask the question. I'm asking, what is the smallest U.S. state capital in terms of population with roughly around 7,500 people in it? And to my knowledge, of the 49 state capitals, 50 state capitals in the U.S. Only one does not have a McDonald's located in it, and I believe that this is the particular city. So, what is the smallest U.S. state capital in terms of population with roughly around 7,500 people? What is it? Name it. Okay, question number nine asks you what is the smallest U.S. state capital in terms of population with roughly around 7,500 people in it? It is none other than the state capital of Montpelier, Vermont. That is right, very small up there. All right, here we go. Question number 10, this is the final question of the session. And for all my last questions of my trivia, I like to give a chance for the teams to really rack up some big points. So this is a five point question. 
Now, one of our cruise directors, uh, Julie James, located there in Australia, probably knows this one right off the bat. Many of you may also know this. For five points, one point for each correct answer in any random order. In terms of population, this is question number 10. In terms of population, what are the five largest cities down under in Australia? All right, so once again, in terms of population, what are the five largest cities down under in the country of Australia? Any random order, good luck. All right, for question number 10, it's for five points, one point for each correct answer, and it could be in any random order. I asked, in terms of population, what are the five largest cities in the country of Australia? In any random order, give yourself a point if you wrote Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide, that is right. Well done, one point for each correct answer. Again, in terms of population, the five largest cities in Australia, and you can have given them any random order. Once again, we were looking for Sydney, Australia, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed Around the World Trivia. I am broadcasting here uh, in one of my favorite restaurants and establishments here in Miami, known as Table 14. So come on down and uh, have some coffee, have some food, have some good times, enjoy. Uh, where's your mask? Where's my mask? In the pocket. Be safe out there. We will see you out at sea very, very soon. I, I can feel it. I feel it. We're going to be out there so soon. Enjoy your time. We'll see you next week for another fun trivia. This is your cruise director, Paul Bynes, signing out from Table 14 here in Miami. Cheers. <laughs>